Look at the McDonald's cookie. Look how thick it is. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. See, thank God I do have my son. Thank God. I, I thank God every day I have my son. Thank God. But on the other end, I'm like, God, please ah, get me out of this. Please. I think one of the worst things that could have ever happened to me in October is that I had to go live with my son. <laughs> I wanted to give you a kind of a, a little update before I head uh, on the road just to kind of keep you going on. I know y'all saying, Spirit, what the freak? What's going on with my girl? Ah, ah, you just you say this and then you go to this and you say this and you talk about this and you don't really give us the real rundown. What's going on? I can't. I can't give y'all the real rundown right now because it's too overwhelming. It's too much. And plus... I can't give it all to y'all in the vlog because I probably do it like an ASMR story time to it. <sighs> like you get the real talk. Like the real, real talk. Not like just facts. And so story time is I try to stick to facts, 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 facts. And chit chats, you get like my thoughts on things. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at. Again. Starting all over again. Hey, it's be tough. Yeah. All or not. But we're gonna make it. Hey. Starting all over again. <laughs> it's gonna be rough. All on us. But we're, we're gonna, gonna make, make it. it. Okay, here you go. Thank you. White arrow for the coffee. Okay. Thank you. Here you go. I have to wait on my de my decaf coffee. I'm okay with that. I got like, you know, a little bit of time. I don't want to wait too long because I got a lot to do today. Good morning, spare the lights. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, I'm going to try out the Wendy's breakfast menu. I think it's so great that Wendy's serving breakfast. I tried to get breakfast the other day, but they said they only serve it to a certain time. You know, some places you go through, you can order breakfast any time of the day, but not here at Wendy's. But that's okay. Um, I'm glad it's breakfast time. I'm hungry too. And I got a few things to do today I, well actually I got quite a few things to do today so I'm hoping that my day goes smooth I'm hoping that um, I actually finish not too late so I'll have time to rest um, I'm making it today pain today I'm dealing with pain today but I'm making it I had ginger tea this morning, so I feel a little bit better about that. Today, the sun is not really shining, but I still feel like it's a beautiful day. It's nice to just still be able to move. I feel like I'm actually in like a physical shutdown. Like I'm going, what was that? I heard like, oh, <laughs> Nadine's phone. I feel like I keep experiencing a shutdown but the only difference is is that I'm moving through it like I'm I'm not just staying still or just not moving I'm actually moving through it but I, I still feel all of the the intense pain that come with it so today is one of those days where no makeup not trying to like I can't <laughs> I can't it's just one of those days I'm just going to be like making through it and at the end of it I'll just be thanking God that I made it through the day so I'm going to wait on my coffee and I'm going to head back and eat and then I'm going to hit the road hit different right here on the BOX Pip Rally J <sighs> Hey, spare the lights. Hi. 
Mm. My ass is choking me today. Okay, so today it just started raining. I don't know where, like a storm is coming. I just got to eat my lunch, which was my Big Mac and no fries. It was good. Um, I did buy me some chocolate chip cookies, and I'm probably gonna eat them uh, probably just a little bit later. I got a couple more errands to run. Where I'm at today, today I'm feeling, I feel like I feel better, even though I, I um, was hurting like really, really bad last night. I feel a lot better, but I just came to pick up the packages from the post office and now I'm going to go run my couple of errands and I'll show you what I got in um, from Amazon in a little bit, but I hope that you're doing good today. I hope you're doing better this spirit, which spirit is doing better today. I feel a little bit better. I got so much to tell you and I just got to find the time to do it. I'm looking for my other half of my cookie. I think Nadine ate it. I was gonna show y'all how thick the McDonald's cookies got, but it's still, you can still see how thick it is when Nadine ate it. And plus, we put it in the microwave, so now it's hard. I'm not free. It's real hard. But, it's actually good. It's still to like McDonald's cookies, but they thicker. I noticed that the other day. I told you, just why do McDonald's cookies look thick? Mm-hmm. I got a lot of stuff done today. I picked up my Amazon box and I did my Amazon haul. They didn't have an edit yet or upload yet. We got like two more errands to run. And then we're completely done for the day. I know I told you I got so much to tell you. Oh my God. And when I tell you everything, I don't even know where I'm going to start at. It's been crazy. And I haven't been wanting to talk about nothing yet. Because of the situation that I'm in. Just trying to figure out step by step how we're going to handle it. How we're going to resolve it or how it's going to be resolved. And also just trying not to feel upset and angry with the whole situation. And the crazy part is I found out today that a lot of stuff that I've been going through that they knew that the my leasing office, con my leasing office knew what I've been going through because other tenants been going through it too. It was confirmed today. They said a whole lot that confirmed with my complaints, but yet I got the bad end of the spoon. You know, it's crazy how someone could or, or people can do the most wrong and the person that didn't do anything has to pay the price for what somebody else has done to them, it's crazy because I have to kick out money for storage. I have to kick out money to move. They just say, oh, we, we just let them out of their lease. We told them that they could be evicted or they can just move and we'll let them out their lease. 
crazy because now that I'm moving, I'm literally doing everything I can to not be in harm's way. And now they're letting a the person out their lease. But as long as I stay there, they allow that person to stay there and just cut me short and act like what I'm complaining about is probably not valid. So I've been going through a lot. I'm just, I'm just a little, I'm a little disappointed and teed off. I'm just like, ew, like, mm, professional people, like, and then all of this, in my opinion, is my fault. I'm going to tell you why it's my fault, because just trying to support and just trying to be nice to other people, and then when people kind of, like, find out who you are, they, for some reason, they just want to come at you they just want to make you suffer they just want to make sure they like, don't nothing go right for you or you can't actually get whatever you want you know I don't know if that's what they think or not but that's what it feels like you know it just feels like that and oh my god wait till I tell you story time I got so many story times I got so many but I just don't know how I'm gonna lay it out and when I'm gonna get started when you think stuff might be in your head and then you get confirmation that it's not just in your head. That's crazy. Good morning. Wait a minute. Is it still morning? It ain't morning, is it? It's 11.42. It's morning, y'all. So it's officially still morning. Good morning. I just want to say good morning to y'all. Um, shoot. I, if I told you I've been on the road since 4 o'clock in the morning, would you believe it? Yeah, I've been out here, um, got home, did what I had to do. It's, it's been rough, but last night was a good night's sleep. I'm going to tell you why. Nadine um, ordered this um, comforter off of Amazon Prime, and it's I showed you inside of the hall. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put uh, a picture of the hall right here, and you can watch the ASMR video if you like. Make sure you get thumbs up. Yeah. So... So I got a mattress bag. It was like $59, I think. Yeah, so when she put it on, it took away that wet feeling of plastic. Like you wasn't wet. But it feels like plastic. And it's a king size bed. It's really nice. I mean, my son was able to locate it, find it, get it for like $70. And, you know, and I was like, wow, okay, this is not bad. This is nice. He, he went and got us a blow up bed so that we could be comfortable, you know, staying with him. But I felt like. It felt like I was either sweating or wet. And then when I go to test my clothes, it wasn't wet or anything. It was the bed. So Nadine bought that comforter. She put it on top. It's like a pillow top. I don't know if it's a pillow top or what it is, but it goes, it covers the bed. And when I went, when I went to lay down, I literally felt more comfortable. It felt really good. Um, it was really nice. And I said, okay, I got a good night's sleep. So I ended up waking up about three in the morning. Nadine too, I cooked a pot of crop pot beans for the family. The beans were done, it was delicious. So we just ate a small, tiny bowl. I'm hoping it'd be okay, because we left the beans with Dream. And <laughs> we won't see Dream till, you know, tonight. And I'm gonna make some rice when I get um, to Dream's house. Um, but for right now, we just bought us some seafood, some snow crabs. And then the last time I told you I was upset with my guy because I ain't get no juice. My crabs look like babies. My potatoes, I, it, my potato and corn wasn't it. It just was not hitting. It was wrong. So this time he hooked us up. It smelled really good. Um, we're going to try to stay still, humble ourselves, and not eat it until after we finish um, packing up the bathroom. Because Nadine finished packing up her bathroom in one day. And she have a lot more stuff than me. I'm still working on mine. I'm st I don't I got in here and I just kind of was like when it comes to packing I'm just like the worst like I move better under pressure like when it's time to go I'm out but when I got a little bit of time my mind moves slow you know and I saw everything on top of the sink like a whole lot of stuff so I cleaned all of that off and 
And then when Nadine came in here, everything was still in the cabinets, the drawers, and everything. I'm just like, dang. She's like, all oh, mine is done. And literally, her bathroom is packed. So I'm happy for her. Um, I think she, gonna, she might help me a little bit. Or she might start on something else uh, once we get to the house. But we've been doing a lot of packing and ripping and running, trying to prepare to downsize and to move. Unfortunately, like I told y'all, I'm going to tell y'all everything what's going on with spirit girl and nadine when i get a chance like i told y'all i've been going through a lot and one of the, the things that came out of going through a lot is downsizing not something that i want to do but this is where this is what's happening this is where um someone else has the control to kind of like maybe put me in a, a better or the same type of place but it's like a rebuttal, period. And um, this is what I'm gonna get for right now. There's some things you can fight and say, no, 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 no. But when you're in a situation like when you feel in danger or you just don't feel safe and your life is in someone else's hand, the only thing you could do is just kind of like, not really go with it, but just do what you can for that moment and just try to work on getting yourself in a better situation. And that's where I am, just working on getting myself in a better situation. I was just a little disappointed. And I'll tell you about the disappointment when I get a chance um, because I know that I probably could have been moved in, you know, a better situation. Um, but, you know, when you're locked into a lease, it ain't but so much you can do. But I did find out some laws, you know, especially when your life is in danger, that you should be able to terminate your lease and not have no issues. But that's not working out for me. It's just like, you know... What's the, I don't even know what to call that, where someone else is, they, they have the authority um, to, to either help you or not help you, or just tolerate you, but not really help you. But you know, you're getting the short end of the stick. And not only did I get the short end of the stick, I ain't getting no stick, <laughs> period. I ain't getting no stick. And I'm dealing with that. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a kind of a, a little update before I head. Uh, on the road just to kind of keep you going on. I know y'all saying spirit with the feet. What's going on with my girl? Uh, uh, you just you say this and then you go to this and you say this and you talk about this and you don't really give us the real rundown. What's going on? I can't. I can't give y'all the real rundown right now because it's too overwhelming. It's too much. And plus, I can't give it all to y'all in the vlog because I probably do a, like an ASMR story time to it. And then, you know, after the story time, then I do like a chit chat to it because then that's when you get like you get the real talk like the real real talk not like just facts and story time is i try to stick to facts 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 and chit chats you get like my thoughts on things you know what i'm saying so that's where i'm at i'm very disappointed but i'm not sad i'm not sad at all i'm actually just kind of like i don't know i came a long way because i just feel like god is leading us he's uh guiding us and this is just the way things has to go in order for me to be where I'm supposed to be instead of fighting with it and being you know um, stressed out about it I'm just kind of not not really going with the flow but just doing what I supposed to do on my part so that I can get to where I'm supposed to be now the thing who child I think one of the worst things that could have ever happened to me in October is that I had to go live with my son. <laughs> Y'all know how that go. But anyway. Like I had three incidents. Three freaking incidents. I get stuck. Like um, how can I put it? I'ma just say I was locked out of my son's house. Three freaking times. Three freaking times was a freaking nightmare. Okay so. The first time was. One night, me and Nadine was at the apartment, and we was packing and trying to get some stuff to the storage, and I had been asking my son, asking my son to come help us or just be at the apartment so I can get more done so I wouldn't have to feel afraid, you know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, I mean... It goes both ways. I think me and my son is both getting a taste of our own medicine. I'm definitely getting a taste of it, child. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my God. That's why I'm just like saying like, nope, I'm not going to stress myself out because right now, when I really think about it, if I really start to think about how horrible things is right now, the thought of living with my son, I would have a panic attack. Right now, I would just get stressed out. So I'm just like, ah, it's okay. Thank God I got my son. Thank, actually, thank God I do have my son. Thank God. I, I thank God every day I have my son. Thank God. But on the other end, I'm like, God, please, ah, get me out of this, please. <laughs> Seriously, like, it's a nightmare for my son, too. Oh, my God. If you could just, you know, imagine a cartoon grabbing his hair and pulling his hair out and screaming, that's my son. He ready for me to get out. He ready for me to, you know, for everything to get back to normal so I can be out of his apartment. But because I'm his mom, he's doing everything he can to kind of like, he's doing the best he, well, I ain't going to say the best, but he's, he's doing what he can to deal with me and I'm doing what I can to deal with him. Even though we both don't had at least, how many arguments since we had since I've been in, okay, we could have had at least 10 arguments, but I did so good. I did so good until my anxiety kicked in and then we were arguing, period. It was, at first it was him just saying whatever he wanted to say here and there and I kind of just like, like that just hold my head down pay him no mind and just like it's, it's only for a few more for few more weeks you know but then a, a day before yesterday i blew up i couldn't handle no more because i had already started having anxiety the night before and he just caught me at the right time and yeah it, it went terrible i tell y'all about that i don't know when because i got like gazillion story times to tell y'all and you know me, I'll find the right time and place to tell y'all everything that's going on. It's crazy. But anyway, Spirit Girl's headed back to the house. And I will talk to you later. I'll show you my, my sea. I finally got some freaking juice in my seafood boil. Like, yeah, about time. About time. I can't wait to be licking my fingers. Yeah, I'm not doing an ASMR video because I've been going through it me and Nadine both we've been we've been through so much when I tell you all the stuff we've been through I can't even exaggerate it it's worse than a just it's just it's terrible like we so wore out and overwhelmed from everything that yeah we deserve like um a little bit of time just eat and talk and watch tv together and and then jump back into our reality again yeah and our reality right now is a little gray yeah, it's a little gray, but we, we moving through it. <sighs> okay, we had a long day. I enjoyed my seafood. It was delicious this time. I'm sorry I didn't get to show y'all. I had to <sighs> work, and then when they then heated up the seafood, I just ate and had enough strength to just finish out our day and so we can make it uh, to dream house so we're on our way to dream of apartment and gonna get us some rest and we'll be back in the morning to try to do it again all over again me and Nadine were just saying it's been three long weeks we're gonna celebrate when this is all over with okay so I made it to my son's house and I'm about to make some rice Let's go make a small pot of rice tonight because I'm tired. I want to get done fast. And here go the beans. Um, half the beans are gone because we have been eating all of them since we have a small bowl this morning. And it looks like Dream done enjoy half the pot. But it's still a nice amount for everybody to get a bowl. So I'm going to make some rice to go with it. I'm gonna take me a shower. <sighs> My son's gaming. Nadine's giving me a rest. I think she's gonna make some hot tea for everybody. And I'm gonna write my journal, and that's gonna be it for tonight. So this morning, we're about to go 
to Smoothie King because Nadine was about to make us a good smoothie, spinach smoothie like she's been doing in the last few days. But we're out of ice. And that's okay. Um, yeah, we'll try again tomorrow. We'll put some ice in the refrigerator now. The rice is about gone from last night. It was good. The beans is about gone. And now, ooh. now I'm making oatmeal. Just using, looks blurry, but okay, there we go. I'm making, um, it says lower sugar, maple brown sugar oatmeal. I added some maple to the water and some butter. It's so early in the morning. Sorry, Dream Fituator is really loud. This couch is real small, so you know we want that comfortable at all. still sleep but me and Nadine are going to eat this oatmeal and we're going to hit the road and hopefully today is Sunday so hopefully we have a good productive day like we did yesterday we had a really good productive day just driving back we were just so exhausted but we made it back last night I didn't sleep well again my leg wouldn't sleep my knee wouldn't sleep like I could just the nerves and it just wouldn't go to sleep so I've been up most of the night I finished watching that show called homecoming I watched season one and season two I'm gonna talk about it in an ASMR video probably today I'm gonna do a, like a a whisper just telling you about the show um, I enjoyed it. it was only two seasons but I really enjoyed it um, it was weird in the beginning the intros weird the, um, the outro is weird but then after a while you kind of get used to it it's like oh regular life vlog they just vlogging your life um if you watch it you'll see what i'm saying <laughs> at first i was irritated by the intro like what the freak why am i just sitting here watching this but then you find yourself really watching it so yeah sending out blessings to you hoping that you have a great morning i hope that you have a Great afternoon. I pray that you sleep good tonight and Spirit will see you when I hit the road. I hate the fact that it's a rainy drizzle day. I'm having a hard time staying woke trying to drive. So I'm going to stop and get me um, a deep craft coffee from McDonald's. And hopefully it's nice and soothing and it takes me to ride out, you know. I'm sleepy. I was supposed to be in bed on Sunday, just sleeping. Not going to the house to start packing again. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Okay. The six blended six cream inside. Huh? The six blended six cream inside. Yeah. Okay. Can I get a stir? Can I get a stir? A stir, actually. Okay, thank you. 
Mm. Okay, spell the light. And we're going to put a few things together. We're going to organize. We tired. We're on our way to Big Lots. We had, um, we had Sonics for dinner. It was good. I was real satisfying. Never got the chance to eat my cookies, but I wanted to show y'all. Look at the McDonald's cookie. Look how thick it is. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Mm. Mm. But I'm proud of us. We did good. I feel like we made a dent. But it don't look like we made a dent. But I feel like we made a dent. You know how you, you don't realize how much stuff you got until it's time to move? But tomorrow I'm hoping I get up early enough to get me a wig. If not, I'm going to wash my hair and just wear it natural for a few days. I don't want to because I got so much gray. I need to dye it. I really don't want to. I don't feel like messing with it. I don't feel like doing my hair. But I'm, the, my wig is starting to attack me. I'm on my way back to my son's house. I got a while before I lay my head down again. I gotta get me some rest before I crash. That's the last thing I want is to crash, so I'm definitely gotta find time to just sleep. Okay. Let's get started on this road again. Cold freaking coffee. I'm gonna show no bug is in it from this morning. Okay. Testing one two one two. It's been a long day, and you just wanna go away. You can't sleep at night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but you're gonna fill out a day. We can tingle 